with executives from Banco Popular de Puerto Rico. We basically want to talk about um, the moratorium that's being offered to clients who need that um, uh, break during this emergency situation on loan payments, whether it be auto, personal, or credit cards, as well as mortgages. But all of them have different um, circumstances. So we want to sit here and kind of explain to you what you need to do and what you don't need to do and what to expect. So here with me. Hi, my name is Maritere Vélez from Banco Popular. I'm the manager for sales administration in Consumer Trade Group. Okay. Hello, Jose Teruel. Uh, I work in the consumer credit area, senior vice president for the uh, collections unit and the mortgage servicing area. Okay, so why don't we talk about the easier, the easier part first, which are the personal loans, the credit cards, and auto loans, right? Yes. Okay. Um, why don't we, we talk about that? In Popular, we are committed to our customers, and for that, we have created an individual assistance program for all the customers affected by Hurricane Irma and Maria. So, for our customers in the personal loans, auto loans, auto lease, and credit cards, we have an automatic moratorium uh, for customers who were up to date in their loans. Um, we have a 90-day moratorium. Um, this, this means that during the months of um, October, November, and December, our customers will not be required to make their payments for these um, products. If the customers were enrolled in direct payment, um, we will not debit their accounts. And if the customers were the ones who made their payments, they they will not be required to make their payments. Okay, payment. so after the three-month moratorium is up, how will the payment cycle work? In these products, it's very, very easy because the in personal loans and auto loans and auto lease, the terms will be expanded. It will, it will, will be extended sorry, okay. for the period of time that they didn't make the payment. So that means that they won't have to make a lump sum payment no, of the three don't. months. They, they, they had a 60 months loan, it will be now 63. 63. So, okay. Yes. And that doesn't affect the interest rate? It doesn't affect your credit? It won't affect credit, it won't, we won't make collection um, efforts, and um, they just won't be required to make their payments. Do you have any idea how many people have signed up? At this time, I think Jose will have better numbers than... The, the, uh, all of the customers from our personal loans, auto loans, and credit cards uh, uh, are participating in this automatically, as Maritere is mentioning. So, so uh, the majority of the customers from, from personal loans will just uh, not make their payment and extend their, their loan. In credit cards, it might be a little different because you will get your bill but the bill will require zero payment. Okay. Uh, it, that doesn't mean you have to uh, uh, make a zero payment. You can pay whatever you want uh, because obviously the interest and the revolving line, it's still working as okay. it was working before the hearing. So clients have the option to pay. You can yes. pay. The moratorium Sorry. is automatic, okay. but people may decide to make their payments and they can do it. Okay. Now, how large is your portfolio? Do you disclose that figure? I mean, I guess I want to put a number on how many people are benefiting from this moratorium. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it, it, now that we're going to jump into mortgage, uh, uh, I can tell you that we serve, we administer uh, over 260,000 uh, mortgages. Uh, we have over, uh, I believe it is 300,000 uh, uh, credit cards. So, I mean, it, it, there are large numbers and it's a lot of customers who are benefiting from this uh, moratorium and this flexibility that we're giving to customers because uh, we know it's a difficult situation. Nobody had seen this before, uh, and, and we know it's it, it has impacted uh, customers in different ways. Uh, now let's talk about mortgage, uh -huh. as you mentioned that, and that's I know that that's separate and that has its own set of circumstances. Can we exactly. maybe explain it in simple terms what it means to 
you know sign up to the moratorium because in that case you have to call right no well let's 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 go over that uh -huh. uh, because uh, for what Mariteri was mentioning and for mortgage as well we have suspended the the, the collection efforts so that has been suspended for all of the individual products so you know the customer doesn't have to worry about uh, somebody from the bank calling uh, to to follow up on their on their payment uh, the late fees are also uh, on hold they're eliminated during this uh, three-month period and uh, for mortgages specifically we have put on hold all of the foreclosure processes so even customers who were four five six months uh, past due on their loans uh, are gonna ba basically see a pause uh, from the bank in all of these uh, collection related efforts so we we, we want to make sure the customer can take care of, of the situation at hand and, and, and focus on the emergency and you know We'll, we'll get back to figuring out how we're gonna repay the the uh, areas, the, mm -hmm. the, the payments that uh, are left without uh, paying. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll have to uh, make a payment plan. So the difference in mortgage versus other products is that it won't be the extension. You know, the getting these three months and putting it at the end mm -hmm. of the loan won't be automatic okay. that doesn't mean that it's not going to be available uh, you got to remember in mortgage uh, you have different uh, owners of the loans uh, sure. so you you might have uh, made your loan with banco popular but that loan then was sold to fannie mae or examples okay freddie can mac. we talk maybe about yep. that the fannie exactly. mae freddie mac all these people Jimmy may, i mean they're Credit Suisse. Uh, some people had their their mortgage with Doral Bank, uh, and, and then uh, now Banco Popular is the one that serves your loan. But that doesn't mean we we originated that loan. So do all those do all those companies or owners have different um, requirements or circumstances? They will have different alternatives for the customer to cover those those uh, delinquent payments. Okay. Uh, but the hold on on foreclosure processes and collection efforts applies to everybody, no matter uh, if you are Fannie Mae, have a Fannie Mae loan, or if your loan was bought by Credit Suisse or. or Mass Mutual or whoever, you know, that doesn't really matter. Okay, now I've heard on the phone because people have been calling in to the radio stations asking, um, you know, in terms of the mortgage, if you're signed up to automatic or debit or whatever you want to call it, do people have to call and pause exactly. that payment? That, that is another uh, important difference between the personal loans and, and the credit cards uh, and the mortgages. If you had a direct debit or a, a automatic payment in your mortgage, you do have to call us to make a pause for this period. Okay? If you do not have that direct debit, you really do not have to call the bank. The, all of the whole the, the holding period applies to everybody no matter what it's not like we're gonna code your account differently if you call or don't call you know what's the phone number to call the for that to, to pause you know that automatic payment yep uh, you can call 787-771-2777 okay uh, I can uh, we can provide different numbers because uh, after the emergency uh, some lines from AT&T or Claro, some some were working better than others. Mm -hmm. we've, we've had problems with the 800 numbers, uh, uh, so it, it, the customer has to, you know, have patience because we do have a lot more employees in, uh, attending calls because we, of the volume. Mm -hmm. But still, we're getting. Uh, You're still getting. Lot, Are you still a getting? A lot of phone calls. Yeah, we're getting uh, thousands of phone calls every day. Okay. And that's why people have to be uh, at peace with the fact that we're not going to require them to call unless they have the direct debit. Okay. okay? okay. So, so we want to talk to customers uh, once we have the alternatives that we're going to have available. 
uh, in November. In November. In okay. November. Okay. okay. So in November, we do need to start talking to all of the customers who decided uh, to get on board with this special forbearance, which, mm -hmm. which is how uh, so yes, a mortgage, how that's the term in, in the mortgage uh, product. Uh, that special forbearance, it, it, it's a, a term where the customer doesn't have to make the regular payment. And again, in mortgage, when you um, subscribe or sign up for that moratorium, your credit won't be affected. You won't have a blemish. Exactly. On your credit. Okay. exactly. Okay. Because that's very important as well. Yeah. Uh, d during this three no month punishment. period, no punishment. No punishment. Okay. There's no. There shouldn't be any impact because uh, we are reporting all of the current loans uh, uh, with the flag that we were affected by by the uh, obviously by the hurricane and the uh, delinquent uh, uh, amounts mm -hmm. are not being reported during this period so. now as far as the bank the institution goes how has this been for you know for you as a as a as Puerto Rico's largest bank and having to deal with the situation which is probably a first right I mean how, how has this process been for the bank. Well, uh, I, we can both tell you by personal experience, obviously this is something uh, new for us and for everybody, but uh, the bank has been focused uh, since day one in making sure that our customers knew that we were behind them. Mm -hmm. So uh, if, if you participated in some of our meetings, you, you maybe would have been amazed that the, the concern wasn't, uh, you know, how to keep our books. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was more uh, in the line of uh, how do make, we make sure that the customer has the information and that our customers feel at, at ease with mm -hmm. the, the alternatives that we're providing. So we've, we've tried to make everything as easy as possible and that's why uh, we've done things that, and the banking industry in general has done things that were, you know, I, I cannot recall of this being done ever uh, before, uh, where it's automatic for mm -hmm. the most part. And, and for Banco Popular, uh, we weren't requiring customers to, to contact us because we knew people were without phones, without gas, uh, without means of transportation. So, you know, we were really really uh, aware of that and, and reacting to that so in november we'll talk again about yep. what the next steps are for to, mortgages for mortgages right because the, re the rest will take care of itself yes. right the personal loans and all of that but for mortgage we can then speak again in november to tell people what they need to do or not do uh -huh. um you know once that three month moratorium is up basically people would have to take care of payments starting in january yes They'll have to take care of payments starting in January, but they don't have to pay everything in right, January. Right. That's really important That's to stress because people obviously, I mean, are, worried, are hearing worried. different things or are worried and, and there'll be a payment plans or there'll be alternatives to get that uh, delinquent okay. amount and put it at the end of the loan. Uh, again, depending on what type of loan, but but really important, we're gonna we're gonna figure out with the customer what's best for him or her because if you are left without income, you know I might just have to extend that moratorium three more months. Oh, wow. So okay. there are different alternatives. Okay. You know? okay. It doesn't help that I tell you in general you you start with your payment again. Even if I don't require those three uh, payments, if you don't have an income, then right. you know I have to extend the special forbearance mm -hmm. and maybe look for, for a different alternative. People aren't going to lose their homes no, because no, of this situation. No. Definitely. Well, thank okay. you. I appreciate it. Thank you so thank much, you. and we'll right. speak again in November. Perfect. Okay? Thank yeah. you. Thanks for having us. Thank you.